I guess I do need one of them big knives. So we're going to let them cook up. What you've got to do is wait till the the, the onions are kind of uh, clear looking colored, you know. So with that, I'll cover that up. We're going to let that simmer. So we got a lot to do. So, hey, Mike, how are you? <laughs> hey, he's one of my battle pirate brothers. Okay. So for the sauce, we'll do the meat in a minute. For the sauce. Um, we're going to add, I put all my saucy stuff over here. Now, I normally put in a can of crushed tomatoes or diced tomatoes. I like diced but under crushed. But I'm going to use fresh tomatoes today. So, Bill, what's up, bud? Long time. So that's just, uh, it's just a can, of, it's, it's 29 ounce, about 30 ounce can of tomato sauce. <laughs> Oh, see, Billy missed the village people. <laughs> uh, some people are out there going, oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm not saying that. Say, so why does he play this? <laughs> hey, hey, they were a big hit, right? Okay, and I'm also going to put in some tomato paste. It is a six ounce jar of tomato paste. Okay, and we're gonna just stick that in there too. We're gonna let that cook in a minute, for a minute. See, we're gonna have the peppers and onions, those are gonna go in there, but you gotta, you gotta kinda pre-cook them a little bit. Tomatoes, not so much. You can if you want. You can fry the tomatoes if you want, but that's not necessary. So basically, it's kinda easy. That's two medium tomatoes. Hey, Art, how you doing? So that's kind of two medium tomatoes, medium-sized tomatoes. Because um, it's basically, you just add everything together, but it's how you, what you add, it makes a difference. I'm going to stir that a little bit while that warms up. The peppers and onions, as you can see, are already cooking. There, now we're going to add where our seasonings. Got my breadcrumbs ready for the perm, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? Oh, you know. <laughs> so, okay, we need, anybody else watching? No, I got it. Okay, it's going to be a half teaspoon. Where did it go? That's quarter, that's a half. Half teaspoon of salt. Salt's getting a little chunky. Okay. And a half teaspoon of pepper. There we go. And we're going to add we're, uh, two teaspoons of sugar. Sugar makes it sweet. What did I do with my teaspoon? And I'll just use a half one. <laughs> or four halves. Three and four. I always forget something. That's just my problem. I'm old. Uh, Italian seasonings. We're going to add two teaspoons of Italian seasonings. No, I got to have a teaspoon. I think this is it. Bingo! We have a wiener. Forget it. <laughs> so, two teaspoons of Italian seasonings. Now, if you're not going to use Italian seasonings, you can use uh, a teaspoon of like oregano and a teaspoon of basil, and that'll make up for the difference of it. Okay, and that does that. So, this is going to start cooking and simmering. So, oh, you know, I'm missing one thing, though. Oh, oh, I'm missing one thing. Wait a minute. Garlic powder. <laughs> uh, where am I? So, yeah, if you don't want to use the Italian seasonings, then use you can use uh, oregano and, all, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. See, now you want the peppers and onions to overcook. So, keep an eye on them. Don't forget them. So, okay, so this is warming up now, too. We're going to mix it up real good, and it'll be nice and yummy. 
I like using them for estimated sometimes. So I'll tell you. So the other day we're at the dentist. Lynn had to go to the dentist. And I'm out in the waiting room. And I, I like to do the People magazine uh, crossword. I'll do some crossword puzzle on there so I'm not bored to death. Well, crossword puzzles were all done, so I was kind of screwed. So on the, on TV comes this show called The View. Any of y'all ever seen The View? So it's it's like Whoopi Goldberg. I know who she was, and a few other women on there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Mike. We'll see you later. Don't forget Bounty. <laughs> and uh, so, what's up, Steve? Bub's beef jerky. That's Steven right there. You look at Steven. You need beef jerky. He's the man. So we're at the dentist and the view. The show the view comes on. I'm like, what in the heck is this? So these ladies are all blah, 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 blah. And Whoopi's saying something and this other girl saying something. So I'm looking at him going, y'all even know I have a clue what's going on. And this one girl, Joy, she's out there, man. I mean, way out there. She's in another stratosphere, this lady, coming up with some goofy ass stuff that she said. So, anyhow, I'm watching and I had this idea. Why don't we get five guys all together, you know, and make our own little show like The View? But for us, because, well, most of us talk out of ass anyhow when we're talking about stuff, we can call it The Rear View. <laughs> yeah, it'd be kind of cool. We'll have the rear view. Todd, you in? Doug? That would be three of us. Steve, that'll be four. <laughs> we can Bill, we can all do the rear view. Art. <laughs> Any dude out there interested, we'll do the rear view. So <laughs> Aussies are better cooks. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know, Meadow seems like my cooking. And she's an Aussie, so. <laughs> okay, so as you see, the onions have cooked. Now, if I can, man, I have no place to put anything today. So I'm going to strain them and put them in the sauce. Peppers and onions are cooked. And I'll strain them. And then we're going to do the meat next so we can get that cooking. I probably should have pre-cooked the meat, but he's in. See, Todd's in. That'd be a hell of a show, wouldn't it? <laughs> the rear view. <laughs> I, just, I just, for some reason, I like that. Okay, so now we got to start the meats. I'm going to throw some hamburger in the pan. We're going to fry that up. Uh, for those who, some people asked some before, who eats the food? Me, me and mine. So if you ever get upset wondering why I don't have a hair net on or a hat or something, I'm eating anyhow. <laughs> so, okay, so now we're going to get the hamburger started. Uh, um, I'm actually going to leave this unseasoned. Because sometimes when you add too much seasoning to the hamburger, it will get into the sauce. Because we're going to be putting it right into the sauce in a few, a few minutes here. That's about a pound of hamburger. Use more, use less. Up to you. Okay, another bowl down. That's not so bad. So now, while I'm waiting, I'm going to dump it. Well, that's cooking. I'm going to wipe my hands off a little bit. So far, my burners are working good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Stir this into the sauce. And, oh, I can smell that. It smells so good. <laughs> okay. There we go. I missed a piece of hamburger. <laughs> so anyhow, now that's in. So now oh, that's in. I'm gonna get going. Oh, Bella came back for a minute. She thinks she's getting something already. Okay, so this is eggplant. Slice it in about 
half inch, half, half inch slices. And we're going to bread that. So what I'm going to do first is um, this bowl. I bread this a little different, okay? So what I do with it this time is I take and we take a, as usual, I want to use some seasoned breadcrumbs. But we're going to use about a cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Can I leave my cup? Maybe yeah, the rest are right there. Okay, so we're going to put a cup of that in there. And we're going to put about a third of a cup. I'm going to do what the top third is. Then I'm going to do about a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Oh! See? Eggplant Parmesan. Oh, there it is. I need like a huge kitchen or something, huh? So, and let's get that out. That would be probably, there it is, or third of a cup. So anyhow, I'm going to put, oh, jeez, smash, smash, smash. So I like to put the Parmesan cheese in and the breadcrumbs, because then it, it like gives it a better taste, you know? Cliff, what's up, bro? Hello from England. <laughs> so he's probably out here. here I, I'm, he's probably out here wondering why I ain't doing bounty. <laughs> but so this is a mixture, okay? Now there's a lot there. You probably have a little bit extra, but there's enough here to do like a giant eggplant. I only do the small one because I'm not a fan of eggplant. The only ones eating it are probably going to be Lynn, pretty much. So I don't, I don't, I only do this much, okay? See, now that's ready. The sauce is bubbling. Hamburger's going to take a while. That's going to suck. But let me get this stirred up a little bit more. And there. So, so Parmesan cheese and the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Well, get over here, Cliff, if you're hungry. Swim. <laughs> Swim fast. Okay, four. I need eggs, two eggs. And this is going to be to dip the, dip the uh, eggplant in. So, and we're going to use our whisk. Whisk it up. We got to. So the other day, I'm on. I'm watching TV now. How many of y'all have seen that Charmin commercial? Okay, <laughs> I'm sitting there watching this. They got these red bears. First of all, I ain't never seen a red bear in my life. And of course, they have red bears in England. But anyhow, and uh, and uh, Richard, how you doing? So anyhow, I'm watching this thing, and the commercial comes on, and I don't know if y'all seen it. It's Charmin. And he's like, I'm Charmin clean, the little kid, you know. Like, Who's going to pick up the underwear? The underwear's on the floor. I'm not picking I'm not picking up. The kid's like, I'm Charmin clean. So the, the, band, the bear gets done singing how his, his butt's clean. His ass is clean from Charmin. Wiping it with Charmin. So the kid's done singing this song, and it tells you about Charmin and says, studies show that you get 17% cleaner by using Charmin. I'm looking at that going, what study, what on earth study did somebody possibly do <laughs> when they're like on, on, on toilet paper and how much is it clean? How did they do that? Number one, first of all, I ain't going to be the dude giving that study. I can tell you that right off the bat. Who's studying? It's like, okay, bend over. Let me see. I'm like, seriously, I need to study that. And uh, and uh, it's like, not only how, but who in the world would ever think of studying that? That's just insane. So once again, I'm going to let people know if you are on and I don't say hi. I just said hi to Richard. I don't always see you guys on there. Look at that. The hammer's almost done. So I don't always see you on there. So if I miss you. Uh, hit the like button, hit the share button, something like that. Sometimes I actually see your name there. Okay, hamburger's almost done. 
So, I figure if anybody's ever unemployed, they can do a test on whether to, how much percentage more Charmin cleans than, uh, how, how much more Charmin will clean versus like Scott's. <laughs> It's like, okay, you wipe with the Scots. <laughs> it's another thing. Think about it. So if they're doing that, and it's like, okay, my chair. Um, if they're doing that, do they, like, not tell them what they wipe with, too? And they're like, okay, don't tell me which one it is, and I'll know which one you wipe with. So, hey, Travis, how's it going? Anyhow, for those who missed it, we're doing eggplant parmesan. I've already got the hamburger cooked. I got the sauce in there. I'll go back to recap the sauce. I got uh, about a medium onion, medium to large pepper, 30 ounce or 29 ounce can of tomato sauce, teaspoon of garlic powder. Hey, Gary, that's my cousin. Uh, teaspoon, uh, teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of Italian seasonings. Now, if you don't want to use Italian seasonings, use a teaspoon of oregano or a teaspoon and a teaspoon of basil. Uh, two teaspoons of sugar, little sweetness, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. That's what's in the actual sauce. Okay. Um, next, I already mixed uh, two eggs because we got to coat the, these and put them in. Problem is, I got to wait for that to get done, but it's almost done, so we'll be okay. Um, now, I got some sausage here, too, because I like to have sausage in my sauce. But... Um, the good thing is if you don't want to use it primer parmesan or just if you don't want to use the eggplant, you can just have a spaghetti dinner. Either way, it works, <laughs> Mr. Whipple. <laughs> That's funny. So anyhow, so I already mixed in a, a cup of uh, Italian seasoned breadcrumbs and a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. It's actually Parmesan and Romano. I like them both. Use just Parmesan if you want. Use just Romano if you want. To me, it doesn't make a difference. Okay? So what I'm going to do next. Okay, see, so, you know, hamburger's about done. That hamburger's actually done. So I'm going to strain the hamburger now. Okay? And, oh, that's not going to work like that. Put the hamburger in there without dumping it. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of finesse, right? Right. Okay, the hamburger's straining. Now, I'm going to try to get the sausage cooked up real quick while that's straining. So, now, I'm going to show us how to make garlic bread, too. I actually cooked some already, but we're going to show you anyhow. So, while the sausage is cooking, I'll do the garlic bread. He did a clean butt study? Really? So there's seriously a dude named Mr. Whipple. Well, good for Mr. Whipple. I'm telling you, M Mr. Whipple can have that job. <laughs> I honestly thought you were kidding with me. <laughs> so, so people, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, there is such thing as a Mr. Whipple. Okay, I already cooked some spaghetti, by the way, as you can see. So, while we're waiting on that, we have our eggs done. We have our coating done. We're going to do one more thing. This, boom. It's a half a loaf of Italian bread. I have another half already cooked. Ah, there's my kid. Hi, April. Say hi to my grandkids. I love you all. So, anyhow... There's a half a loaf of Italian bread. I already cooked the other loaf. It don't look so great right now because, well, I kind of uh, cooked it earlier just so you can see it because you got to bake it. Let's see. Does this taste good? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. That's strain. Sauce is bubbling. We'll add the hamburger. See, like I said, even if you don't want to use it, it's just the sausage and the hamburger and the sauce if you want. Now, uh, you can stir that in and I can turn it down now. Let me just wait for the sausage to cook and that'll all be done. Doo, doo, doo. Anyhow, 
So, okay, now I already cooked one half. Uh oh. That's not melted that much now. Hopefully, I can mix it up good. Well, and so, mind you, this is going to be half of the recipe. So, there's a half cup of butter to do both sides of the bread, okay? Then we're going to use three quarters of a tablespoon of garlic powder. Oh, good. Love them too. Yeah. So it's funny. I don't, there, I don't have a three quarter tablespoon, so I'm going to wing it with this, with this tablespoon. It'll be fine. Don't worry. So, but normally you use a tablespoon and a half. Normally the butter's melted more, but it was sitting here a couple minutes. So, okay, next I'm going to, or do a half, it's a, if you're doing it, okay. For a bowl loaf of bread, you use one tablespoon of this parsley. Yep, there it is. I want to make sure I didn't have the Italian seasonings. So I'm using a half a tablespoon of parsley. There we go. And then we're going to mix that up. Hopefully it'll be melting. Oh, it is. It's melting a little bit more when I mix it. Okay, now I, I have a little paintbrush I use. We have a basting. If you want to use a spoon, use a spoon. Do what you want. Okay. So now that that's mixed up, I have my paintbrush. <laughs> it actually was a paintbrush. It's clean, though. It don't have no paint on it. Lorna, how are you? Welcome. So I'll recap in a minute. For those who, don't, who didn't get to see it from the beginning, we're doing eggplant parmesan. And with spaghetti sauce and some sausage. So it's not just eggplant parmesan, really. It's kind of spaghetti, too. And I'm doing the garlic bread now. See, eggplant is in season. That's what we get. Richard, what's up? Another one of my battle pirate brothers. And also, anyhow, so I'm, I'm going to paint this on here. Usually the butter is a little thinner, but yeah, what are you going to do? It kind of hardened up a little bit. It's actually margarine. It's not butter, but you can use butter if you want. Um, it's up to you. There we go. I'm using it all up. There we go. Now, now that's done. What you would do with this is you take this and put it on a cookie sheet. Let's see. I happen to have a cookie sheet here. One was one that's done. Look, it's done. It needs to be reheated. So anyhow, you put it on the old cookie sheet, like so. Then you're going to cook it at 350 for 10 minutes. And then put the mozzarella cheese on. And then you cook it again for five more minutes. That'll melt and that'll look good. And I can cut this up. It's kind of done. So, and there you go. See? Cheese. Where's Meadow? Meadow loves cheese. So that one's all ready to go. Now, let's check on our sausages. Boy, should be getting cooked. Aha. Bubble, bubble. So, my lord. Look at that. The sausage is cooking. I'm going to put it all in the middle and cook quicker. So, anyhow, that's done. The sauce is done pretty much. Just waiting for the sausage. So, in the meantime, I am going to get the eggplant ready. And hopefully by then, the sausage will be done. Okay, let's turn that down some. We don't want it to burn. And I'm going to use this bowl here. Hey, I'm making room. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't come. I went on last week. I had to go to a volleyball game. For my kid, and I don't miss my kids' games. So, anyhow, she kind of got, you know, it's funny because she got had to sit the bench a lot, and it's like she's kind of she's not the worst player. I mean, there's better ones, but she's far from the worst. So I had to give a call to the 
to the uh, athletic director and say, listen, she's a senior and all, too. Now, being a football coach, I know if you suck, your ass hits the bench. <laughs> I got it. But in this case, you don't suck. You've been playing for quite a few years. So I gave him a call, and he's supposed to take care of it. And I guess they had a game last night, and whatever it is, didn't work. So anyhow, yeah, I'm one of them parents. <laughs> you know, I remember when I was a kid, man, <laughs> we were coaching block coach football for a while. So we had this one guy was out there playing. He was out practicing my son. Well, he wasn't the greatest player, but he wasn't the worst again either. <laughs> so, but he did kind of have a big mouth. So he's out, his mom's watching practice, and I'm off by the sidelines. And she yells his name. I ain't going to say his name. She yells his name, and she goes, Be all you can be! <laughs> I'm like, he ain't joining the damn Marines. <laughs> so it's, she yells it again. Well, that just puts a target on the poor boy's back, you know. So we're getting up and doing hitting drills. And, like, of course, everybody on the team wants to target him. <laughs> so it's like, rather than set, hot, boom, dude's flat on his back. <laughs> and, of course, the kids are up there going, is that all you can be? You know, gets over another one and is like, oh, you're not really trying hard enough to be all you can be. They're like torturing a poor guy for what his mom said. I mean, I find it's only the hell alone, but just be all you can be. <laughs> Moms, they get into this stuff, you know. They get into the sports and things like that a lot. But, you know, in some cases, there's a mom that just don't. See, my daughter knows football and a lot of sports. So not all moms are like, don't know anything about sports. Trust me. My mom knows about football, too, and all. So. But, yeah, you know, it's when you're out and he's out with a bunch of dudes and just playing. And, and, you know, and you even saw a look on his face when she yelled that, be all you can be. He was like, oh, no. Oh, no. So, but, see, I coach on the high school level. I coach at a professional level. But my favorite's coaching the Pop Warners. Uh they're just so much fun, the kids in the Pop Warner. So my daughter might remember Steve Petrie. Steve Petrie was this little tiny dude. Like the little engine that could. <laughs> and he had to do an angle drill. And my son came up, and he was over there. He goes, Coach, he's going to mash me. I go, let's Steve, just do the drill. You're fine. You're wearing your badge. You're good. So. Go! Oh, yeah. Sure as hell. Boom! Ball goes one way. Steve kind of goes the other way. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, crap. So I go and find Steve. And I go over there and I say, okay, Steve? He goes, I told you he was going to mash me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, you did. And I believed you, but, you know, kind of football, dude. So, love coaching football, though, especially for the little kids. Okay, we're going to dip the, the little eggplant in some egg. Egg for the eggplant. <laughs> and uh, so we dip it in the egg. Once you're done dipping it in the egg, he pushed me. Coach, he pushed me. Yeah, she remembers him. He pushed me. It's like, Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the name of the game. That's always fun. You have some kids, you know, that are just, they just make your day when you're coaching football. You, you, they'll never be an all-star, but, you know, but, I, but and then, of course, you get the parents that are like, my kid's going to play pro football. Dudes are eight and nine years old. Ain't nobody going to play. You really think you're going to the NFL any day. Okay, look at that. Our sausage looks pretty done. Hey! We are on the downhill run. I'm going to drain the sausage. I use sweet Italian, by the way. Drain the sausage out and add some oil to the pan real quick. Yeah, coach, he pushed me. It's like, yeah, I know. Where are we at? 706. We're doing pretty good. 
We might actually get this on time. If my burners keep up. Ha, it just turned on. So we're going to let the oil heat up. We got the... Hi, Mary. We got the eggplant, and we're putting the eggplant in the bowl with the egg. Egg for eggs. That like cannibalism almost. Egg and egg and egg and egg. Now, we're going to set this in a bowl next to each other. And that'll be ready to go for when the oil heats up. So, you know, a lot of people know I drive Uber. You know, I really love driving Uber. So you get somebody in the... In the I, I, I go Friday and Saturday nights just because, well, the drunk cracked me up. Actually, I saw Bob Wilmot out one time there. It's Todd. So anyhow, the drunks kind of cracked me up. My best friend, Doug, he drives on occasion, too, when he's not working in the summer. But anyhow, so we, uh, I picked this guy up, and I, I have, and it was with a couple of his friends. Well, I have lights in there, these LED lights that flash and flash. And they come on, and they go, you know, flash when I play music for them. College kids love that stuff, right? So <laughs> me, though, if you're drunk and in my Uber, and you're, going, you're kind of freaking out or something, man, I am going to just mess with you because that's fun for me. So he goes, ah, oh, the lights, the lights. They're burning my eyes. Turn them off. They're burning my eyes. And I'm like, really? I go, you know why? Why? I go, uh, my dog is there, actually. The other one was here. She just went that way. <laughs> You'll see him in a minute. My Apollo's over there. So he's got an ear infection, poor boy. So the dude's like, oh, my eyes, my eyes. He's having a cow, you know. Turn him off, turn him off. Well, you know, you think being the nice guy that I am, that I would just turn the lights off, right? Hi, right, Joanne. I'm going to recap in a minute. So... Being a nice guy that I am, I just, you know, I'll just turn the lights off for him. <laughs> no. So I told the dude, I know they are. He goes, what? I go, they're lasers. Ah, he starts yelling. His friends are laughing at him. <laughs> and the dude's like, I mean, he's having a serious cow. Because <laughs> I told him they were lasers. And the drunk bugger actually believed it. So... The whole ride, I'm not even kidding you, he kept his eyes covered the whole ride until we got out. And then he was trying to get out and not cover up. Oh, yeah, on this side, I, here's by the table, that was, it was down there. That's the little tiny dog. She's kind of half a dog. <laughs> so, always get to screw with the drunks. I love it. Anyhow, okay, now that we've done that, we've done this, the sausage is drained, so I'm going to put that in the sauce with everything else, which leaves us to one last thing. Yeah, that little one was down there, but all you would see is maybe her ears if you're lucky. There, sausage is in. See, now, like I said, if you don't want the eggplant, you got spaghetti. There she is over there now. She's back. She knows she's getting food when I'm done. So I always give them a little snack. Oh, just so you know, I think it's in two weeks Thursday. I won't have a show again because another last volleyball game, a home game that I got to go to, the last volleyball game on Thursday for the season. So let's see. I need something to test this oil with. Let's try a little egg. Why not? This is something liquid. It's probably not warm enough yet. So, yeah, it's like not this week or not next week. The week after next, I think it is. Uh, it's actually senior night, their last home game, too. So that's pretty cool. So now, now we got that. I'm going to recap real quick. I don't drink, believe it or not. Uh, recap real quick. Uh, I did a, the sauce. I did, uh, I, I made, I tendered, just put it in uh, two tablespoons of oil in a pan, 
make a saw uh, peppers and uh, uh, onions and peppers, uh, good size, maybe a large, medium large pepper and onion, and I tenderized those, drained it, put it into the sauce after, well, I'll go with the sauce now. Uh, 29, 30 ounce can of tomato sauce, that's over here. I like it thicker, so I added a small can of tomato paste, which is right there. I actually cut up two medium tomatoes. Um, I cut up two medium medium tomatoes we got from the vegetable stand along with the eggplant. But, and the peppers we got too, fresh. Um, and I cut them up, put them in the sauce too. And there's two tablespoons, or no, two teaspoons of sugar, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, um, a two teaspoons of Italian seasonings, or you can use a teaspoon of basil or a teaspoon of oregano in place of the Italian seasonings. If you want to do it that, uh, a little bit more if you're going to use fresh stuff. I already made the noodles. They're probably stiff as a board by now. Um, and then you mix it up, and then you cook up. The hamburger, oh, the garlic powder. Did I say the garlic powder? No, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, then you cook up the hamburger and the sausage in a pan, and I add that to it, too. There you go. Sauce is done. I took a cup of Italian-style breadcrumbs, two eggs, and I beat, beat the eggs, which I'll probably cook that and give the dogs later what's left. Beat the eggs. Uh... Uh, a cup of Italian breadcrumbs and a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. In this case, I use Parmesan slash Romano. Hi, Holly. How are you? I'm just recapping, but I will keep the video up on my page and on my timeline, so you'll be able to see it. And that's for the breading and the eggs for the breading of the eggplant. I use a little small eggplant because I am a big fan of eggplant. So anyhow, uh, let's see. I'm going to switch this, maybe, see if I can get this cook quicker. I don't know. But anyhow, so my burner sucked. That's why it's taking so long. But it's almost done. So I made noodles. I like to use spaghetti noodles with them. Um, I mean, you don't even have to use noodles if you don't want to. This is, like, on its own um, a meal. So then I made Italian, I made a garlic bread. So I took a loaf of Italian bread, cut it in half. Uh, it was a stick of butter, uh, a stick of butter, uh, one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder, and a tablespoon of, where is it? I lost it. Oh, there it is. Parsley. <laughs> well, I knew what it was. I just wanted to. So, and then I put that on with the butter, okay? Um, you spread it on both halves. You cook it for 10 minutes in the oven first, and then you add the mozzarella cheese. And voila, you got it. I'm going to take a bite. Because I'm starving. <laughs> so, oil is cooking. I think it's ready. Is it going to bubble? It most certainly is. We're going to add our right plant. Hey, a little late, Emil. <laughs> Almost done. But I keep it up so you'll be able to see it after. So we're going to cook the eggplant in oil. Add a little more in there than you really kind of need. What it does is uh, you cook it till it gets nice and brown and toasty. One little piece left on that figure. I don't think it'll... It might fit in the middle. And also... Oh, it does. Okay, so you cook that till it gets brown. Well, that's cooking. We're going to throw the other stuff on a plate. Now, here's a little twist. If you want, add some Parmesan cheese. Or your mother spoon. Uh -oh. Or add some mozzarella cheese when it's done and throw it in the microwave to warm it up. Now, you can also take the sauce and put it in a pan. See if I can get it without spilling out. It's nice and thick. And take the sauce and put it in a, on a baking dish. And then do everything you say, see I'm doing here, okay? Put it in a baking dish. 
put it in the oven for at uh hi missy my niece i haven't seen her in so long okay so i'll put it in the baking dish for a little while but uh probably be about give it about 20 minutes in a baking dish put the mozzarella cheese on the top of it and then then eat it okay so as you can see my niece sees a runner. And what's up, Steve? Almost done. But it will be left up on my page and on my timeline so everybody can see it again. Missy, where do you live now? We miss you. You don't ever come around. But I'll see you at Christmas. But then we flip that over gingerly. <laughs> I like saying gingerly. It's just kind of funny. You flip it over, you cook the other side. Dun, da, 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 da. My wife absolutely loves this stuff. See, I like having a Parmesan cheese right in with the breadcrumbs. So, so, so. Hey Ben, Steve, by the way, long time. Todd's on. <laughs> so anyhow, that bowl's done too. What a mess. So as you can see so far, there's your sauce. It's like, I like thick sauce. Um, if you don't like your sauce thick as this, add a half a can of tomato paste instead of a full can of a six ounce tomato paste. I like it nice and thick. Just my, my preference, okay? So anyhow, that's that. We already saw the garlic bread. That's done. Almost ready. We're getting there. Oh, no kidding. Oh, well, let me know when you come home so we can, like, visit at some point. So, so anyhow, so the, I will leave this up, and you can see it again. So I'm waiting for that to come happen, too. So, oh, here's another good Uber story real quick while this is cooking because I want to finish this before we go. Um, <laughs> so I'm driving, and, and these girls get in. There's, like, sorority girls, and they're, like, my nieces, too. They're all, like, fun. Hi, Joe. It's almost over with. We're about to take the Parmesan, uh, the eggplant Parmesan out. Anyhow, so <laughs> getting my one's like, oh, I'm so drunk. I had three vodka this. And another one says, I had four Jack Daniels and this. Now we start driving. Ah, oh, yeah, well, I had this many. And I stopped and I said, oh, really? I'm okay. I only had a 12-pack. And the entire van went silent. It was like, and you can see in my mirror, they're all like, I'm like, no, 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 y'all. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Hey, Bill. Oh, Paul's sleeping and growling. So I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't take any drugs. But <laughs> it's amazing how they, like, <laughs> just freaked right out. Okay, look at that. We have eggplant. So I'm going to flip it again just to double check it. Oh, yes, it looks good. Yep. So yeah, my niece sees a lot. She runs a lot, and she runs. She does running races and and things like that. It's pretty cool. She told me about it at Christmas a little bit, and I see it when she posts it sometimes. Look at that piece of eggplant, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to put that on the plate there. Let's see if another one. The other ones are kind of done, but not quite. Uh, this one looks pretty good, actually. There's another piece of eggplant. I'm going to drain it a little bit. I don't want all that oil on the plate. And with that, after everybody's been patiently waiting, eggplant parmesan with spaghetti sauce, noodles, spaghetti noodles, and ready to eat. Then, uh, while well, we got to stick a piece of the garlic toast on there, I got to reheat this. Don't. Don't think it looks bad. It, it really is good, but I got to reheat it. So 
just to give you the full effects. I'm going to cut a little piece of this off just so everybody can see what it looks like. And there you go. It's like a cooking show. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, as you can see, a couple of pieces of eggplants. I will keep the video posted. I keep all my videos on my page. And I'll post them throughout the week for those who missed them. So, but anyhow, eggplant parmesan with spaghetti sauce, hamburger, sausage, garlic bread, and spaghetti noodles or linguine. <laughs> I always wanted to get like Chinese noodles and, and put on the box linguine. Anyhow, the dogs know I'm done. So that leaves Eddie. I'm going to repost it. So if you want to see it over again. But the dog know one of them knows I'm done. So come here, baby. Ba Paolo. Paolo, are you alive? He is sleeping. He can't even hear her eating. Hey, Pop. Hey, Paolo. Look. <laughs> I woke him up. Come here. Here you go, Gary. Come up, come up and get it. There we go. There's my Apollo. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Your food's right here. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably eat that one because I don't want you to get the cold one. Come here, Bella. Can you come up? There's Bella. Can you see her? You can see her little head. That's my Apollo, and that's my Bella. It's all our family dog, but they're my babies. So anyhow, once again, thanks, everybody, for watching. Leon, you missed it. Ah, I'm done. <laughs> Leon's a good egg. He owns uh, with his family, Ashland Winery and Hurlbut. Uh, it's Leon Hurlbut. Uh, Leon's Market in New Haven. Let me tell you something, great people, nice place to go, get flowers, great cheese, and wine, Ashley Lynn Wine. It's named after his daughter. Anyhow, Herc, oh my Lord, Herc, I know Herc too. Everybody's on, I'm just finished. Watch the recap. If you want to see it, I did eggplant parmesan with garlic bread and uh, spaghetti sauce with hamburger sausage and noodles and all so anyhow like I said I, I think it's the Thursday after next that I won't be on because I have to go to another volleyball game the last one for my kid my youngest is a senior at APW and so if y'all want to come watch come watch senior night okay so hey Again, thank you everybody for watching. I had I've actually had one show, uh, so far one show that broke a thousand people viewed it. A thousand, over a thousand people watched my show. So my my much love to everybody. Most of the love goes to my girl though. Love you, baby. So with that, thanks for watching again. Good night. I'll see you next week, six thirty. If it is, I, 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 get away from that toast. <laughs> If it, uh, um, if they're, when they're ever, I'm not going to, would you get your nose off of that? Don't touch that table. So whenever there is a problem, I will let you know if I'm on or not on and wait, you know, you'll know. So there he goes. Anyhow, you want to give me a kiss tonight? Come here. Give me a kiss. Up here. Give daddy a kiss. Come here. Up here. Up here. Give me a kiss. Mwah. There you go. Kiss for Apollo. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Y'all have a good night and a good week.